I am going to show you and teach you what I think is the most practical and duplicable way for just about anybody to make a hundred bucks a day. We're gonna go into all of that in this video. I remember in 2006, I started my first internet related project. I was going to school because I was thinking I was gonna be a pastor. I was going to college in Indiana, cornfields of Indiana, and a hundred bucks a day would basically double what I expected to make as a pastor. So my goal going into my first internet business was if I do something consistently for a full year, my goal is to make $100 a day at the end of this. Now, I didn't quite achieve that goal. Instead, I made $100 on my fourth day. <laughs> So this strategy worked in 2006, and the strange thing is, it works even better today. And I'm gonna lay out exactly how I think the absolute newcomer can consistently follow something that will eventually make about $100 a day. The key to this is you have to do it in a way that you would be willing to commit to a full year. Chances are it won't take you a full year to get to 100 bucks a day, but if you get that mindset going into it like I did, there's a good chance that you will hit that number earlier and pass $100 a day over the next year or so. By the way, just so you know, I do not have a course on this. I might at some point, who knows, but I'm just doing this video so that you've got a strategy that you can use and actually put to work that will be effective at generating 100 bucks a day. Because 100 bucks a day is this psychological point in which you realize, A, I can actually make money on my own, and it's enough to like be meaningful. For a lot of young people, that's enough to be full time. And it's enough for just about everybody to supplement their income. So if you do this, I think it could theoretically change your life and maybe even put you on a path to being a full time entrepreneur. My background is in helping people build long-term businesses. So I am not interested in doing the flip game or doing things that are temporary short-term wins. I like long-term things that are gonna make money for a very long time. I build businesses and I help entrepreneurs build businesses. So none of this strategy is gonna be short-term stuff that allows you to flip cards or sell things on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. It's not saying that stuff doesn't work, it's just not my game. The style that I follow and that I like to teach to people takes longer in the short term. But if you continue doing it for the long term, it has long term results. And you don't have to keep doing the short term hustles in order to have income this can be a legitimate full-time business. Okay, with that preamble out of the way, let me give you the big takeaway, and then we'll break this into some more meaningful steps. The best strategy that I see to make $100 a day is to build one central website that focuses on one specific topic, and for you to provide content that you or someone else makes around that topic and to also make YouTube videos that send traffic to that website. Now, that was a mouthful. How does it make money? The way it makes money is you're gonna do two things. One, you're gonna have advertising on your YouTube channel and on your website. And two, you're going to be an affiliate for relevant products that other people in that market are considering. Now, the simplest way to think about this is to think about your site as a review site. A review site of products and services in your field of interest. Let's say, for example, that you're a photographer and that's kind of a side passion of yours or it's just a common hobby that you're interested in. Well, there are millions of people who are going on a new journey of becoming photographers or learning about photography and they buy things along the way to support them in their journey. Things like really expensive lights and cameras and stands. And they're also learning how to edit and they're buying software and they're buying all kinds of stuff along the way. In fact, I have a family member right now who 
is just starting to experiment with some YouTube stuff. Makes me super happy because this is somebody I'm close to and I'm really enjoying watching him get better at this, this process. And his YouTube channel is about DIY home improvement stuff, which is something that he's good at but not an expert in. It's just something that he's getting better at. And as part of his discovery to become a YouTuber, he's looking at all these cameras and all this software and all this stuff that he is purchasing. And guess what he's doing? He's looking on YouTube and on Google to find out what cameras to use and what other equipment he should buy in order to be good at his craft. In this case, it's making videos. Well, you could say the same thing about becoming a dog owner or starting a business or getting married or any new adventure, as I call it. I say in my book, which is called 12 Months to $1 Million, that the best way to pick a market or a niche to go after is to pick one person that's starting a new journey, starting a new adventure. When someone is starting out on a new adventure to get married or have kids or become a parent or become a YouTuber or to go to college or entering the workforce or starting a business, these are all new journeys. And when you go on a new journey, you buy things. The story I like to tell for this is when I became a father. I have two kids. My oldest is five, and when she was born, I all of a sudden had to buy all kinds of things that I didn't know I had to buy before. So when I became a father, strollers all of a sudden were the most fascinating thing to me because I had never noticed strollers before. They were just some annoying thing that all the breeders had to bring into the restaurant, right? Well, guess what? Now I'm one of those and I'm looking at strollers and I'm like, wow, look at the turning radius on this thing. Well, guess what? I'm looking up reviews of strollers to see which is gonna be best for me and my family. Strollers can be expensive, like hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. And there are plenty of websites, plenty of YouTube channels of people doing full reviews of strollers and they get lots and lots of views and downloads and reads. I was on a new journey of becoming a parent and I bought strollers and clothes and cribs and all kinds of stuff that I didn't even know that I would ever need. That's the case whenever any individual goes onto a new journey. So my invitation for you is to pick one person that's starting a new journey. And it might be you. It might be your journey as a student. A good example of this is Ali Abdal. He was a Cambridge University medical student who started sharing studying tips, productivity tips for students. And as he started sharing some of the tricks and tips he was using to study, he started to get a really big following. It was small at first, because it was just other medical students. But as he continued to create more and more content around the topic, more and more people started following his advice. Well, guess what that did? It encouraged him to do it more, to talk about other topics, and now he has a really big audience, and he makes, let's just say, way more than $100 a day. So your job is to pick what is that small little entry point for you. What's something that you either could talk about or would enjoy learning more about? For example, when I started my first business from my college dorm room in 2006, I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I started blogging about learning to be an entrepreneur. I wasn't just providing advice because I didn't have a lot to give. I started blogging about what I was learning and what I was discovering. Now, this was before YouTube existed, but when YouTube was an early platform, I then started doing videos about the products I was trying or the strategies that I was testing. Not because I wanted to be an expert, but because I was building an audience that was following along my journey. Guess what happened then? A lot of those people who started following my work as a student, meaning I was a student and they were watching things through my eyes, ended up becoming customers later on when I started speaking from a place of authority because now I've built and sold companies and made millions and millions of dollars. So now I have something to share. But even at the time when I was still learning this stuff and studying this stuff, I would meet people along the way. And as I met people along the way who had products and programs that might be a fit for my audience, I started talking about them and making affiliate commissions as a result of recommending them to my audience or making introductions to my audience. So whatever market you're somewhat interested in, 
bird watching or photography or business or being a student. If you create just one site and one YouTube channel or any other content platform, I use YouTube, you can use Instagram, you can use TikTok, you can use a podcast, but one place to create content that drives traffic back to the website, that is the overall strategy. And on the website, you'll write reviews for products that you're considering and testing in the marketplace that other people have the opportunity to buy on your site. That's the base level summary. There's a couple additional layers that we'll go into through the rest of this video, but I want you to get an understanding that that is the base of it. And when you do only that, a few things can happen. One, your blog posts and your reviews will start to rank in Google and get free traffic. Other people in the space who talk about this stuff will start linking to you and start sending traffic your way. So you'll start to develop a little bit of an audience, a little bit of a following, and some free traffic that's coming from Google. The other thing that starts to happen is your YouTube videos start to get free views, free traffic, and they start to rank for keywords. Now your first few blog posts and your first few videos they're gonna suck. So just own that and get them out of the way. Get a few bad videos up, get a few bad blog posts up. If I look at my first podcasts or my first YouTube videos, they ain't very good, all right? So get the worst one out of the way and know that they're only gonna get better through time. The other thing that's gonna start to happen is you're gonna start getting some, not a lot, but some ad revenue from your site or from your YouTube channel. Now, what if you don't like to create content? What if you're not the type of person who likes to put your face on the camera or even write on your own blog? Have no fear, there's a couple of workarounds to this. So when I started out in my journey, I was really surprised at how many people were willing to say yes to providing content for my website for free. Sometimes that meant I would interview the person and write about the interview. And sometimes that meant that I would record the interview as a video or a podcast, and I would simply publish that interview. And that was all the content that I needed. So the only skill that I had to have was curiosity. And by genuinely being curious about the topic that I was interested in, or the topic that they were teaching, it gave me free access to that person and it gave me free content to build my site and my YouTube channel. It also opened up relationships that served me very well down the road. And what I found is that by being a student and reviewing these opportunities or products or different things in the marketplace and coming from that place of real curiosity, it's kind of like a back road into being an expert in the field. So you don't need to be an expert. You don't even need to create any content yourself. You just need to be the curious one and willing to share what it is that you learn along the way. Creating content in a bunch of different mediums is easy because you have podcasts that you can record on your phone, you have YouTube videos that you can record on your phone, and you have blog posts that you could either record audio for and get transcribed or you could just write them out yourself. It's also really cheap and easy to pay somebody 15 to $25 to interview you about something and turn it into an article. That's another way that you can create content for your website. So all that to say, your first 30 to 90 days are all about creating content from a curious place and getting the bad ones out of the way getting a few blog posts, a few reviews of products, and a few videos or other content pieces up and moving so other people can start to see that you're here to play. The other side of this strategy is using the traffic that's coming from your YouTube channel and from your website to build an email list. Building an email list is the thing that will probably give you the biggest long-term impact that you do in your business, but it takes some time and so most people don't do it. If all you do is put something on your website that offers a report or an additional video that really helps the person that is there on your website, you'll start to build an email list over time that will want more of your content and will want more of the products that you see working in the marketplace. Here's an example. Let's say that you're reviewing photography equipment. 
When someone comes to your website to look at a review for a specific product, and they see a prompt on your website to download the five tools that you recommend to a new photographer, any new photographer will want to give you their email address to see what products you recommend. So you get an email subscriber that wants to follow your content for a long time. But the second thing that usually does is it is a recommendation for products that they buy through your affiliate link. A good example of this is I was dating a girl in college who was really into raw and vegan food. And she made a smoothie every morning that was like her energy smoothie. So I helped her build this really basic website that had an opt-in, an email address submission form on it that simply said, download my morning smoothie recipe that puts coffee to shame. So it was her energizer smoothie and they put in their email address and it went over to a page and it had her recipe on it. It was, hi, my name is her name. And then it had the recipe, which was like some spinach, some coconut water, pineapple, and I don't know, maybe an apple or something or ginger, I don't remember. But it just had the recipe, super basic page. And then there was a link below that said, click here to find out where I get my recipes. And when you click that link, it took it over to a product that she was an affiliate for. And if somebody bought that product through her link, she got you know a few bucks in commissions. I remember the day she logged into her account and we were using the ClickBank marketplace at the time, which is clickbank.com, which is one place that you can become an affiliate for products. There's a bunch of them out there. That's beyond the scope of this video. But if you just Google affiliate programs, there is quite a bit out there. So I think for us, we Googled like vegan recipe affiliate program and found this one. But when she logged into her account and she saw that it was like 150 bucks in there, she literally started crying and said, oh my goodness, I'm making money online. So that was super basic. I just helped her build this really simple website and then she was free to go continue to write other recipe blog posts or post on social media and send people back to her website. And just by her being from a place of contribution on the site and on YouTube or any other platforms where she's making content, people are seeing that recipe for the Energizer smoothie that puts coffee to shame. They're opting in and they're also buying products. Now she can email them and send out additional content that's coming out. By the way, it's one of the reasons why I create so much content is because I'm building an audience that will follow me for a long time. And I don't know what opportunities will come from people following my content, but I've been teaching and helping entrepreneurs for over a decade and I've created partnerships and relationships and sold products and I've co-invested with some of the people that I've met as a, re as a result of this journey. And so I keep making content because this is one of the ways that I build the foundation of a business. And one of the ways that you can get plugged in is by turning the like button blue, which helps me rank this video higher and help more entrepreneurs and more people who wanna make money on the internet. And that builds my audience and it helps me get more exposure, which helps build my long-term business. So thank you for doing that. Are you see where this is going now? If you've got something you're genuinely interested in and you're putting written content on one website, and you're creating content on one other platform, like YouTube, you now have three possible sources of income. You have the income from the reviews that you do on your website. You have the revenue coming from advertising on YouTube. And third, you have the revenue that can come from building your email list and making recommendations to your email list. The beautiful thing about this is that all three of these work together to create free traffic, sales and long-term followers. Now this takes some time and it takes you figuring it out and it takes you being active in some sort of genuine interest. But if you do it and you're willing to play this game for like a year, you'll be very surprised at how quickly this can become a full-time business. And the best part is you can do it in something that you're genuinely interested in. You can do it in cooking, you can do it in woodworking, you can do it in photography, you can do it in business, you can do it in cryptocurrency, you can do it in other investing vehicles. Whatever it is that you have a genuine interest in, follow that. You don't need to be passionate. The idea of having a passion is something that is outside of yourselves that we try to chase. Just follow the interest. What do you wanna be better at? What do you wanna learn more about? What do you like talking about? What could be of interest to you if you put attention into it? Follow that impulse. 
And that will be the guiding light for you to be curious about that topic and report on what you are learning. And the more you do that, the more you attract other people who are starting a new journey and they have something to learn from you. You'd be surprised how many people want to learn from someone who is at the same level that they are. They don't wanna learn from experts. They wanna learn from other people who are just a few steps ahead of them because they've been in this game for three months or six months. And so if you stay curious for six months on a topic and you continue to create content for the others who are just starting their journey, you start to position yourself as the leader to that group of people. And they are the people who will end up sending you checks in the form of affiliate revenue and advertising revenue. So just to recap, the strategy is for you to write reviews about products, document what it is that you're learning along the way, and to create some form of multimedia content in the form of a video or social media content that sends traffic back to your website. The way that you'll make money is in three ways. By reviewing products, you'll get affiliate revenue. By making videos or other forms of multimedia content, you'll get advertising revenue, and you'll build a list on your site, which will turn into long-term customers and long-term fans. And when you release new videos, you can also talk about them on your website. And when you talk about them on your website, you can also email your list. And so the whole system starts to feed itself. It starts really, really small, but it starts to compound over time. If you're starting a new journey as an entrepreneur, I can help. That's what my business is. The best and the most affordable way that I can serve you is for you to grab my book on Amazon or the library, or you can torrent it if you want. It's called 12 Months to $1 Million, and it's how to build a million dollar business over the next year. Or if you just like some help for free, subscribe to this channel and like this video. And if you've got an idea for a business that you'd like to start that follows this strategy, drop me a note in the comments and let me know what you're thinking about. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran and I help entrepreneurs build seven-figure businesses. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Take care.